Good morning from Falak Numa Palace, Hyderabad. This is an exclusive five-star hotel breakfast video. You can see that true to Taj style, they create a relaxing morning ambience by soothing flute music, which is played live. We decided to sit outside under the Gold Bungalow, which is a unique space overlooking the city of Pearls. The hotel itself is on a hillock slightly outside of Hyderabad city centre and overlooks hills and adjacent towns, but it's not too far from Hyderabad's monument Charminar, about 5 kilometres. The palace video will follow in due course, but what we can already reveal is that we had a fabulous time at the Falak Numa Palace Hotel and highly recommend a visit or better even an overnight stay. Usually, Gold Bungalow, which is a royal roof terrace restaurant, only opens for dinner, serving Italian or Indian dishes. But breakfast here was just as delightful and we enjoyed the daylight ambience and far-reaching views. The breakfast spread is located inside the restaurant called Celeste, which is their all-day dining Italian and international restaurant. The restaurant's decor is pretty, but both days we sat on the terrace as we love our fresco dining, especially during the day. The breakfast buffet offers pastries, local speciality biscuits, bread, cheese, fresh fruits and salad, open sandwiches, cold cuts, cereals and milk. Presentation and hygiene was kept to a high standard, mostly covering food with lids. Dishes look really tempting and well prepared, especially the dosa. Just wait for it. Furthermore, you are treated with a variety of Indian dishes, continental options, live cooking stations serving pancakes and waffles, 
as well as the must breakfast item self in Dindosa. Paper thin goodness, plus a good range of fresh chutneys to go along. Now, if this hasn't made you hungry yet, I don't know what will. Eggs lovers don't need to miss out. Here you also have a live station for eggs made to order. And not to forget fresh fruit juices and dairy products such as lassi, smoothies, baked yogurt, flavored yogurt and shakes, and much more. Last but not least, there is a live tea station placed on the terrace serving lovely, flavorful chai. We love starting with a platter of fresh fruits. Look at these vibrant colors nature has given us. trying South Indian breakfast staples such as idli, garelu and sabudana vada, which is one of our favorites especially in Mumbai. Crispy, slightly chewy and comforting fried food with a healthy touch. The idli was soft, which is not always the case in hotel breakfasts. some savory delectables, it was time for a sweet treat. They offered mixed chocolate and vanilla waffles served with cream and maple syrup. breakfast is complete without having pranta. We had a gobi and alu version, which are flatbreads filled with cauliflower and potato. The gobi pranta was excellent and very Moorish. A 
It is important to mention the nice breakfast staff. In fact, Santosh made sure our breakfast experience was flawless. He was attentive, polite and even ensured we got to try local speciality desserts, which were not part of the breakfast range. So he went all out to accommodate our culinary needs. The breakfast buffet on day two was overall pretty much the same. However, some of the dishes varied. We decided to capture the entire spread again, so some items are on repeat. However, we did not try to repeat the same dishes again, as we were curious about the new foods. We probably said it before, usually the breakfasts at the Taj are decent but not exciting us too much from a flavor point of view. The pastries were a bit soggy, but we would like to highlight the great Indian cuisine this time. We really enjoyed the Indian dishes, which can often be turned down in flavor, probably to play it safe to accommodate international guests. But this time around, the food had a kick and a true Indian spicy touch which we highly appreciated. Well done Taj Walid Numa! Sevyabad was delicious and so was the cashew pongal. To complete the indulgence, of course we had to try dosa. We opted for a dosa platter, which served a variety of mini dosa along with sambar and chutney. When you can't decide, just choose them all.
They were all tasty, pure enjoyment as you can tell from the slow pace I'm eating. Some were a bit spicy, especially the one with the Gunther chili powder, as well as the one with the fresh green chili pieces, but super yum. And the darker dosa, perhaps a ragi based one, not entirely sure though, had a more dense flavor. All were nice, but I like dosa most when it has a masala filling. It feels more wholesome to me. The coconut chutney was a hit, fresh and sweet, which goes well with the fermented flavor of dosa and the spices. They served paya nihari, which is a rich stew consisting of slow-cooked trotter. It was so indulging, so it cleaned off the entire bone. Another vegetarian savory option we opted for was chole badure. Decent, but not first class. To finish off breakfast on a high note, Santosh ensured that we were served the local speciality desserts, Kuwani Kamita, which is an authentic Hyderabadi sweet dish, and we were also served Chahi Tukra, which is a bread pudding. The Kuwani Kamita was my personal favorite, silky cream with apricot compote that had the perfect sweetness. The Chahi Tukra was also good. Usually we are not the biggest fans, but this version was delightful. In addition, we were served with an Andhra Pradesh speciality called Puttarikulu, which is a paper-thin rice starch sheet stuffed with sugar and dry fruits. And I believe to remember the Roti is Purampoli, a speciality sweet dish from Maharashtra and generally South India. It is a flatbread filled with lentils and jaggery. So did really enjoy the Puttarikulu. I'm not one for grainy stuff and if sugar isn't dissolved, I'm not a huge fan of that texture. But it was his favorite among all desserts. Just to top it off, we were kindly served with a surprise slice of chocolate cake. Super kind gesture from the breakfast staff. Thank you, we really had a great time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. We also appreciate your feedback in the comments and sharing and subscribing helps us in keeping motivated. Thank you for your support from Couple Eats World.